What is going on, everyone? The, the second Monday Night Football game just ended, and this game was a little interesting to me. The Rams do win 33-13. to The first half was all Oakland Raiders. The place was electric. John Gruden out there. It seemed like he dialed up a fantastic game plan, running the football, Marshawn Lynch being a beast. Derek Carr was very manageable in the first half. Self-inflicted wounds by having over 100-plus penalty yards called up against them which was a huge issue, but they still had a 13-10 lead at half. You had Jared Cook going off, literally lowering his shoulder and destroying Aqib Tlaib on a third and long situation to get a first down. I mean, the, the Raiders were th playing with fire, playing with pop. The energy in the building completely were in their favor. And then the second half happened. Now, there was an interception in the first half when... Derek Carr had an opportunity with Cook in the end zone, and he just underthrew it completely, and it got intercepted in the end zone. Derek Carr did not have a great second half. The Raiders did not have a great second half. He throws two more interceptions. The Rams' offense went from not really running the football with Todd Gurley to literally running it right through the line every single opportunity they could, Sean McVay literally called Todd Gurley's number as much as he possibly could in the second half. They handled the football insanely, and the Raiders just... It's not like they didn't give them effort. It's not like they didn't give everything they had effort-wise, because they did. What happened was the better team won. What happened was the Raiders just couldn't win the trenches. They didn't have a, a D line that could get pressure on Jared Goff. He was sitting in the pocket comfortably, and... He made plays happen. The offense for the Rams in the second half was absolutely the game changer. They controlled the entire second half and destroyed the Raiders. I honestly didn't think the Raiders' D played that bad. Now, 33-13, to it seems like, but, but they gave up 33 points. Well, the last touchdown for the Rams was in garbage time, and Derek Carr threw a pick six to Peters who ends up actually doing a Marshawn Lynch celebration in the end zone. Just to put a little bit extra on it. Just to put some whipped cream on top. And the cherry. But listen, the, the Rams, they look good. They look good. Jared Goff looks comfortable. They have weapons. They have a lot of good receivers. They did a lot of play action and absolutely bombing the football downfield. Now, they didn't land it every single time. Uh, you know, when I, when I watch it, I actually... When I replay it in my head right now, a lot of the plays either were pass interference calls or Jared Goff just missed it. They didn't really land many of those, but they took their shots. They took their opportunities downfield big time. The defense for the Rams, did it live up to the hype? I wasn't absolutely rocked away with it. I wasn't. Good defense. Aaron Donald didn't really produce much, but obviously I think he will once he gets his feet wet a little bit. He sat out a long time until he got his contract. Rams got the job done. They went into Oakland. They didn't have the greatest first half. I think their plan originally was to not run Todd Gurley so much in the first half. They did exactly what Doug Peterson did with Jay Ajayi. Not really use him too much in the first half. Pound the rock with him in the second half. And it worked out. They got the job done. They beat the Raiders. John Gruden takes the L. Jared Cook was a beast today for the Raiders. But Derek Carr, his his three interceptions, the second one was just insanely brutal. The first one underthrown Jared Cook in the, in the end zone. Okay, whatever it happened, shake it off. The second one, I don't even know. I don't think anybody knows what happened. He literally gave it away. And then the third one was in garbage time when they're down two scores with just a couple minutes left. They're trying to throw it underneath lackadaisical, and Peters jumps on it and brings it to the house. But Derek Carr did not play well today. I, you look at it as a Raiders side, and some self-inflicted wounds could have been a huge factor. I mean, Derek Carr not playing well at all. You need a quarterback to play well to win a football game. And all the penalties in the first half. Coming out of the first half only up 13-10 to 10 when you look at how many yards you lost in penalties. Maybe they could have had an opportunity to be up a little bit more. You know John Gruden's probably watching film already. You know he is. And every new head coach has taken an L 
week one. How about that? So, listen, the Rams win 33-13. to It was a good football game. It was very entertaining, especially when it was a tight, close race before the Rams kind of took away with it. But the better team won. There's no doubt about it. The better team won the football game today. The Rams or the Raiders just kind of ran out of juice. They did. They ran out of juice. Their effort was there. The more skilled team won. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you for watching.